G'day and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge for the 10th of September 2019. It is looking like quite a harsh daily today. Dying, shaky, technophobe, ex-sovereign. Uh, and so yeah, that's, that's really going to be quite a harsh one to do. We've got quite armor-piercing shotgun, which we should never fire at anyone, but we might use uh, here and there. And we've got a self-charging crash beam and a long-range crash beam. So we've got six charges of beams. We'll definitely use that. Now, because we're dying, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab a different character. And I'm going to check the leaderboards. I did watch someone do this this morning. Uh, I probably should have paid more attention to what was happening. Ah, Seamus Donahue is still number one at 7 minutes and 26 seconds. That is impressive, and that is the person who I saw do it. So I do have an unfair advantage here. I did see someone else, uh, a recording of someone else's run. Seamus Donahue is really good at like playing the way you would expect a regular person, well, as someone who's very skilled at playing the game, but not someone that uses some of the ridiculous tricks. Uh, I guess we'll see how we go. They did play quite cautiously. I'm not sure that I can honestly do do it as cautiously as they did. Okay, so here, alarm response none. That's great. A key on the one which doesn't have a heat sensor. Also great. So let's get over there. Uh, we, yeah. So seven, mi uh, seven and a half minutes. That is an insanely long time. I mean, I did a pacifist breakdown video recently, but I did not take seven and a half minutes in-game minutes to do it and uh, yeah that's uh, quite an ask okay hmm interesting so here we have we want you to come to us so let's see what we can do to get that done and then we we should be okay so let's see I'm setting off the alarms okay, but they're all going to go at once with that. We don't want that. What we want is for you to be able to see us, but not you. I don't know that we've got an angle where that will work. We can... Oh wait, up here. We can try and do something with this. I'm just going to go for it here. And, mm, okay. I want to throw this to try and halt you in your tracks. But maybe, maybe I just go for it anyway. Okay, good. That did halt him. I'm being super cautious here. Fantastic. Unlock those doors. Okay. Now. I should be looking down here. I want the key. I probably want to go up there to get the key. In fact, I definitely want to go up there to get the key. Um, I think I'll be okay if I do this. He might spot me. Yes, he did. But that's okay. We'll be around the corner and through in no time. So that's fine. Okay. Now, target's down here. We get that key and we're halfway there. Oh shit. Ran. That was terrible. That was a terrible plan. Really bad job there, mate. <laughs> okay. So. Fortunately, we didn't get fully... What? Really? You're gonna... Okay, yeah. Sure. You're going to a slightly different spot. That's okay. This is my fault. I should have been paying more attention. We get the huh, huh. You guys walk back. Okay. That's fine. Good. Ugh. That, that nearly wrecked everything. So I want to go up. Sometimes the shortest path is not the best path. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Why am I getting alerts? I'm gonna alt-tab and try and get rid of that because that's distracting me. Seriously... Yeah, turn off notifications right now. Ah. Okay. Yep. 
Uh, alright. Sorted. Now. Uh, this, this. Okay, so you're gonna go there, you're gonna hang around there, like a jerk. I don't know your patrol pattern. I'm really hoping it isn't problematic. Open this up. A Sidewinder. Interesting. I've got a different item mix than Seamus Donahue had. Interesting. Okay, so this patrol's messing me up. Gonna need to... want you to go, and you to go, and then I need to lure you out. This patrol is... Uh, you are going up? Yes, you are. Good. In which case, I'm just gonna do this. Yep, great. Um, that's okay. Oh, had me really worried for a minute there. Okay, let's just go here for right now. So where... Okay, the patrol will always be to this location. <sighs> Gotta love it when you got a dying timer. Although, that slip... Like... The difficulty for me and the difficulty... Okay. Fine. The difficulty for me and the difficulty for someone else on this particular piece is definitely quite quite significant right not having this okay let's see I'm just gonna throw this like so so throw this item yep and then you great now you're gonna turn toward me there we go so the fact that I so this is something that Seamus Donahue could use, by the way, but not as effectively because he can't turn on the on the spot. One, two, three. Okay, now. Steal key card. Go down here. So I need to make sure that I don't have a patrol getting away, but otherwise this should be fine. Okay, open this up. So one of the things that makes a steel mission more difficult uh, is... Alright, that's that's a beam. There are no beams that can help me. One of the things that makes a steel mission more difficult is that a steel mission does not uh, give you the same power creep that an, a regular one does, right? So that's really bad for passi for technophobes and pacifists, right? Pacifists don't get to kill guards, which is one of the primary ways that you get cool stuff in this game. Uh, I'm just legging it. Uh, and so this, normally you'd only get it from a capture or a kill target. They'd drop an item and then you'd be, oh great, I've got an item. Uh, where here, obviously we missed that completely, uh, which is a real pity. Uh, and the steel item can be useful in edge cases, but it's not fixed. So everyone gets a different one. Well, basically everyone gets a different one. But also a steel item you don't get to keep. You're handing it in at the end of every mission. So a pacifist technophobe with a, on a steel mission has the hardest job of any infiltrator. Because you just, you can't rely on anything. Okay, so here, here we've got some interesting problems. I remember this particular ship. We are lucky that, by the way, that at least we're dealing with off-world, but we're also quite unlucky that we're dying, which means we've got a hard time limit. Although, honestly, if I take more than 10 minutes on a character, then I've messed up real badly. Okay, so here we've got glitch dashing guards so we can try and take advantage of that in that if a guard dashes over to us then we will uh, get to um, like we'll be able to steal from them but we don't want to take too much advantage of that because they will teleport to us and then we will need to uh, they'll then hit us with a wrench we can't get away from them very easily so what I'm gonna actually do here with this first section is I think I want to specifically
crash with these guards. Because I run faster than the wrench guard. Uh, that'll do, that'll get both good. So now I can just use conventional tactics. I could also uh, then just uh, long range sidewind past. I need another key. What else do I need? So I need that key. I need one of these keys. I think this is just going to be regular patrolling. If I don't get spotted, then it's not a problem. But, of course, my problem here is that I will get spotted if I try and run through here. Now, because they're crashed, they can't teleport to me. Mate, come on. So they can't teleport to me, and they can't set off the alarm. So these guys are just regular guards. So as long as I can pull them out of the way, one, two, three, and now come back. As long as I can pull them out of position, it's fine. But now I do actually need to pull them out of position. I need that to happen without an alarm going off. That's okay. So here, if I throw you, Okay, I'm going to throw you like so. Okay, great. Perfect, in fact. So now you two are going to run through here. Yep, there we go. So, guards that are alerted still have to yell intruder, even though no one can hear them. Except groups right next to them, and they don't set off the alarm, but they do go, oh, we need to rush off here. Okay, now great. We can just run straight past. Okay, so. Not lucky enough to have either key wielder uh, travel yet. So I could use up two charges. What else could I do? I could, um, I could crash you and get you to come up. I do want to take whatever is in this crate, by the way. That is definitely a thing I wish to do. Could use another crash to try and grab you. Right, so this is a patrol there. You do a regular kind of patrol routine. Okay. Now my problem here is of course you move randomly and that's what everyone wants to hear when they're trying to get the best time is random movement. Okay, good, 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 good. You're moving, where are you moving to? Are you moving down? You're moving down. So this is a terminal one, so they had three possible locations to run to. I then need to get your key. So we're going to pop down here. Come back up. Steal your keycard. Okay. We can run up here. Jeez, what's up? I got a very upset cat in another room. I may pause to go deal with. So I need to get this key. Oh, you're kidding me. This is a patrol that goes into that room. Well, fine then. I can see what I can do about you. So one option would be... Pop in, attract attention, pop out. Because you'd teleport to me, I'd be able to steal the key. But then it's a matter of getting away. I can do that. I can either sidewind, or I can do something cleverer. Could also disable the alarm. Let's do that actually. So we disable the alarm the old fashioned way. Um, let's see if I pop up here, throw at you. There we go, no alarms. Done. Uh, now, what can I do about you? 
what I'm really tempted to try for. I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Steel key card. And then. Open this up. What are you? You are some kind of teleporter. Okay. So what can I do here? I can try and swap with you. So the thing is I don't know which teleporter I got. I've, this doesn't tell me, does it? No, it's a sidewinder. Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. So I can now try and pull a fast one with you lot. Run you around this circle. The thing is, yeah, you're just going to be like, oh, I, I think I saw someone. And then I'm going to grab this. Quiet shoddy, not actually helpful. But that's okay. Then you come in, you go, ha huh, ha, huh, and then I run through and teleport. Okay, so this has taken like a minute per ship. Wow. Even with the Sidewinder, even with two Sidewinder charges, this is a bit ridiculous. But that's okay. Okay, I need you to clear the room. I really do not want to lose no harm by uh, failing this piece. But I'm kind of disappointed that I ended up with a different item mix. Like, a Sidewinder is probably more useful overall. Oh well. I don't think they're ever gonna actually try and track down what makes there be different item sets for different people. Most of the time people end up with the same, but not all the time. Alright, there's that. Now we've got a similar problem except everyone teleports and we got a predator and we got a jammers and heavy reinforcements so you know all the fun stuff and some of the less fun stuff all right so what can we do here so we do have okay you are right in the corner you totally are we've got the worst possible entrance we totally do okay so um what can we do here we can get everyone to teleport to us but we don't actually want to set off the alarm right now. Um, what did... What do we got here? What can we do? This is the kind of thing where if we had a brick, I'd actually be like, oh, I can just try and brick in. Um, I could... Okay, I could use a double sidewind, right? I could sidewind, crash, sidewind, and then get to here. And that gives me two keys. And then the next part is getting past here. The problem is just distracting all of these guys. I can throw stuff. I do need to remember I can just throw things. I mean, that's annoying too. Long range sidewinder. I could totally do that though. Just open it. Crash them. That gives me past two points. Um... And then it also means I don't need to worry about jammers messing things up for me later. Biggest threat is actually a jammer coming toward me. But I'll be in a position where I can do something about that. I think I'm going to go for it. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we... Sidewind to here. Steal a keycard. Can I crash you from here with that? No, I can crash you from here with this though. And now I go down a little, sidewind there, perfect. Now I can get to here-ish. Oh, 
Unlock this door. Unlock this door. Okay, you want to patrol? You're definitely coming this way. You're definitely coming right for me. I'm going to pop up here just to be safe. You're going to do random walk. You're going to do less random walk. Okay, fantastic. Okay, now. I need to throw an item to deal with you two. Okay. Alright, throw the sidewinder. Yep, on, on, on. Past, past, past. Tick. Fantastic. Okay, now. Deactivate this, head down. So, why am I going down here? I want to throw at him. And deactivating the jamming field is actually attracting the jammer to go further up. And this is a real painful point. Eesh. Okay. So, if I disable the alarm, that means the worst case scenario for me now will be that... Uh, Okay, here, throw straight at you. Shit, 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 shit. This is the worst case scenario for me. I will be shot and ejected. I have to work my way past all this lot again. I really want to just explode the window, but that's going to cause me grief. I could try and crash you. That's a bad idea. Um, just about to pull all of them. So if I'm going to do that. Firstly, let's just try and... Oh shit, you. You with the... Okay. Okay, now give me the key card. It's the least you could do. I really wish I had saved something. Uh, all right, now I need to try to save you. <laughs> so hit you. Thank you. Now. Throw this. G'day, Admiral Mimo. Oh, thanks for hosting, Admiral Mimo. Throw this at you. Are you kidding me? You. Damn. Yeah, okay. So I've now lost. Perfect. Well, Seamus, you can have it. You can have that. Well done. Oof, that was rough. That was me pressing on pause at the wrong time. And the annoying thing about that is obviously I was doing my best to prevent the guards from shooting each other because that's a dumb way to lose, but it happened. Okay. So if I've lost, which I have, um, and by lost I mean I'm now competing for second place. Do I want to bother with this shit? Because frankly, I'm not sure I do. What items do we have? Okay, crash trap, no. A, um, a slipstream, probably. Uh, not strategy map, obviously. Uh, this, yeah, come on. Top scores for today. Uh, you've got minus 14. I've got minus 5. That'll take me second to Dari, which is unacceptable. Okay, give me something else. Unacceptable. 
Okay, key clone R, 12, not, not enough. So a single subverter charge, is that gonna help? Probably not. We could get the acid trap, which would give me enough to actually then be able to um, get past people. That's minus 12 in total. Is that worth it? Um, yeah, I think it is. Alright, so now we've got a way of crashing everyone. And then we just need to deal with them like they're a regular guard pod. So we've disabled the alarm, which means at least I'm not walking back into the worst of the worst. Okay, you lot are all panicked for whatever reasons. Um, I'm just gonna go down to like here. Wait, uh, this is a three charge crash trap, of course. And. Uh, there. Grab and deploy. Really? I'm a dumb. Grab and deploy. And come on, Ran. You know how this works. Actually, here's a way of doing things. Only one of you? Gunshot, yeah, yeah. Thank you. This is silly. This is very silly. Take that corner. That fucking corner. I swear. Do we try a crash in that? Okay. You're searching, you monster. Okay. Okay, good, good, we got through, got through, got through, got through. Oh, come on. Definitely not hitting the right things here. Okay, Jammer. As the worst, where are you going? Right. Fantastic. Okay, are you going down? Are you going up? Are you going up? You monster. No, 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 why? Oh, I know why. Because where you were going broke. And now you're going somewhere else. So you're going down. No, you're going right there. To the worst spot. 
because you are, in fact, the worst. So you go left. No, you go right there. Because you are, see earlier statement, worst. Ah, fucking. Why you all combined to do this to me? Why are you like this? Are you all on search mode? Well, I probably deserve that. Come on. This is the most annoying thing. The most tedious thing, really. Okay. So this is at least... This, this is something that you actually, if you are walking, you get a distinctive bandage on. And that is that you actually do get to know exactly where you're going to stop. I'll take it. Thank you. You're in search mode, you monster. Come on. Turn, 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 turn. Thank you. Okay. I could check up here and hope that there's something useful. Um, if I do that, I need to get my throws right. In particular, I need it to end up. That looks like it should work. If you move out of the way. Just stay there, will you? Let's try this. Nope. <laughs> Got it. Let's uh, leave the jamming device in place up, shall we? Okay, open up. A visitor. That is super perfect for getting out of here. If you would just bugger off. Thank you. I appreciate you acknowledging and listening to my request. Okay, let's try this. Throw this like so. Nope. Grab it back. Okay. I need to work out an approach for this room. Even though I have way more patrolling guards than I want. I definitely, definitely need to crash them. Okay, let's see. If I am here, and I throw an item like so. Nope, you are not meant to hit that. You're meant to go past. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, now I need to throw this uh, this way, grab it, and deploy it, and duck down here. Fantastic. Next step. Give me your attention, sir. Sir, I require your attention.
Of course, it never actually received your attention, did it? So, throw this. I said throw this. Take it. Shit, there. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Now we have this. So now we have your attention, sir. And you can go bugger off. So, yeah, the problem with cornering right now. In case it ain't obvious. This is real hard. Okay, um, now. I haven't thrown the visitor. So, what Seamus Donahue said is that thrown items, like once a guard has seen a thrown item, it will attract that guard, regardless of whether it kind of makes sense for them to. So what I need is I need all the guards to go back home. Then I need to kind of pull their attention away by kind of getting them focused up here, roughly. Which is less easy than you might think. So I can throw an item here. And then I can throw an item again. Like, I throw a different, I'd like, work my way down here. Throw a different item up here. Think that will work? I hope it'll work. Obviously, if it doesn't work, I'm kind of boned. Um, now, let's see. Yeah, Crash Trap is still useful. Crash trap is something that I'm happy to throw as a way of attracting attention anyway. Ah, oh, that's like absolutely perfect. If I throw a visitor there... Yeah, so what I need is I need all of them, all of them, to be back. Yep. Cool. Now I want to throw this, like so. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Grab it back. No! Okay. Okay. I can kind of not recover from that. Um, then, what do I do? I think I just freaking leg it. So you shoot like now would be great mate shoot okay now I'm gonna throw this at you it'd be great if you'd all shoot like now Oh well. <laughs> okay. I mean, part of this is they're all, uh, give me this, let me crash you lot, let me throw this at you, let me throw this at you, Really? I guess because it uh, hit. So I throw this at you. Throw 
throw it at you, shall we say. Throw this at you. I do not deserve, in any way, to have this work. By the way, surely you've heard this by now. Get through. Ah, oh, so close! Now I've got even more. I'm. I think I might actually just need the slipstream to deal with this at this point, because I've got even more guards that are running around. I mean, let's see how we're doing, right? Because we did, in fact, successfully crash that lot. Got four minutes. Okay, if it gets down to like one minute, I'm gonna run for it. Uh, sorry, I completely missed your messages, Admiral Nemo. I'm, I'm really sorry about that, actually. It's just, uh, well, this is taking a fair amount of work. Um, you know what? Let's just... Throw this into you. Take it. Throw it still into you. Give me this. So this is a uh, heat signature. It is quite a fun little challenge and game, in my opinion, uh, which is about breaking into spaceships. I quite like it. Um, also, I would like to say reasonably good at it. This is just a super challenge and daily challenge. That's if you are still around. I apologize if you are not. Because, you know, I have been a bad streamer. Uh, it's been so long since I streamed it. Okay. So my problem here is, of course, that you are a son of a jerk. Oh, wait. Uh, that's my bad. That's totally my bad. So I inadvertently attracted all of those guys up here. Every single one of them. Because suddenly there is room for a uh, teleporter. Not a teleporter, a jammer. And that is quite inconvenient for me. Since you aren't going to stay there forever. And you're going to come back around this way, I believe. Yep. Okay, right now I need to cheat a little. There we go. So that paused you. Unfortunately, it means that we're going to get a double patrol. Yep, I told you. That's how this works. <laughs> the old double patrol. Which is one of the reasons why I'm not so keen on pausing this, although it occurs to me that if I'm stuck with that kind of a thing, that's what, why not make it a triple? So, one, and then another, come on, another one, another one, there we go, and see now, you're like panicking, searching, yeah, yeah. Nope, didn't work. That's okay. That's okay. The box is empty. Uh, Alright, now we can go down this way. Basically, the only way to stop that would be to crash the jammer. Which I could do. And indeed might do. But I've already done this bit. That's the most annoying part. I've already thrown this item so many times. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah, 
you kidding me? <sighs> so throw this. Come on, and it through and behind. And take that, and there we go. So the next step is to pull this pair. Which is actually a lot easier now it's a pair. So, for example, I can go up here, shoot a quiet gun, and then they should both go up. What I'm actually going to do this is... Ah, fuck you. Okay. There we go. That was such a pathetic squeak from my cat. Okay, we're gonna go this way. And of course we managed to shoot another person in the back. Because, fine, that's just how this will work apparently. You go here. Oh, you've gone on to patrol. Nice. So you're going to stand in this corner. I'm going to go, huh, huh, go down. You. I need you to turn. No, no. Is this a patrol? No. It is a terminal. Okay, de steal, not deactivate. Do not deactivate if you can avoid it. I'll deactivate this one, but that's only because my plan here is to basically do a B and E. Fortunately, the standing point is there. You're gonna go down, aren't you? Of course you are. Okay. So here I can throw items, right? I could rely on waiting for you to come to me, but I'm not going to. All right, let's just let you guys head off. Of course, that's a thing that can happen. Okay, let's see. Alright, let's do this. You shoot me. Thank you. Of course, of course you don't actually have the ability to shoot me properly. You better not hit. Thank you. Oh, of course. <sighs> right. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, if I survive this, because I am about to spend a bunch of time coming off of this ship, I am just going to go get the slipstream. I'm just going to slip it out. Yeah. A very needy cat right now. Okay, so that's right, while we're injured, uh, dying timer doesn't tick, because that makes sense. Um, <laughs> anyway, we will do this. I just, yep, yeah, I'm, if you want to see how to do this well, uh, I'm going to link Seamus Donahue's run, right? It's absolutely incredible. And yep, he had a different set of items. I think I had better items for this purpose. Right? Compared to him. But, yeah. Just, what? What are you doing, Mouse? Anyway, let's just do this. 
So this is also a trick that he doesn't tend to use. But this is kind of demonstrating just how ridiculous uh, slipstreaming can be. Okay, we're going to go this way because we need to deactivate that. Steal that keycard. Deactivate the jamming device. Head up here. Open the crate. And this visitor. Visit outside the ship. Like, you can see how much of an impact that slipstream has. Also, is that floating backwards now? Whatever. So yeah, <laughs> that, that is what having the proper equipment does. But yeah, that was, that was a, that was amazing. And yeah, 464, that still puts me third with an identical time to Seamus Donahue even. <laughs> Impressive. Uh, okay, so yeah. Uh, Seamus Donahue's, I believe, the only person to have gotten it perfect, but well done. Uh, I, I, I will link the video. I mean, he's got significantly more subscribers than me, so I, I mean, I'm not that, like, I'm not likely to have that much of an influence on his stats, but still, he, he, he did a fantastic job on today's daily. And I will see you next time.